Hello YouTube, this is Agent Ice again. Uh, today I want to talk about polarities. This is very important to understand and master for the game. Uh, both for your Warframe, your weapons, and also your little companion items. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So, polarities. Um... I need to get a frame that has less stuff set up for it. Okay, so polarities. As you can see down here, these are the four kinds you're going to see. You're going to see this one. Normally it's called Y or V because nobody uses these names. They're so crazy and hard to remember. Um, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Madore, Varzern, I, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to refer to these as V or Y, usually Y. I call that D because it looks like a sideways D kind of. Um, that's dash and that's the other one. Equals, I guess. Anyway, those are, those are the types of polarities. So what happens is you'll have blank spaces like this. And if you look up here, the capacity, that is the total amount of capacity you can use to put on a Warframe. And this number up here in the top right hand corner of a mod, that's how much capacity it takes up. So bam, one mod took one sixth of my total capacity. Well, if you keep going like that, obviously you're not gonna be able to put too many mods on it. Uh, so what do you do? Well, you utilize the polarities on your slots. So I take this and I slide it right over here. Notice how that turned green and it is a five. If you match the polarity of the mod with the you know, same polarity as slot, it'll reduce, <clears throat> it'll reduce the amount of capacity that it takes up by half. That's a pretty sweet deal. So naturally you wonder, well, what happens if, you know, you don't have the right polarity, but you still want to put the mod on? Well, what happens if they don't match? Well, let's see here. Notice it's taking up 13. It should have been 10, but now it's taking three extra capacity. So you actually get penalized for not matching these, which means when you're putting mods on, and especially if you're going to be adding formas, you need to think this through. You need to think it through pretty well. Um, now, how can I get more capacity? Well, you have you have a few ways you know, and and uh, polarities. There's a few ways to do this. One, depending on if it's a uh, reactor or a, if it's a warframe or a weapon. Uh, for warframes, you use an Arokan reactor. You can buy them for twenty plat in the store, or you can get lucky and find an event that gives you a blueprint for them. Sometimes you get them for your daily login reward too if you're really, really lucky. Um, don't count on it though. Anyway, so Warframes use reactors and weapons use catalysts. All right, you use formas to create polarities. So the forma lets you do a few things. You can either Take it, make it so there's, you know, there's no polarity on it. Notice, see, blank. I can take the polarity off the slot. Or I could change it to whatever other polarity I could want. I could also add a polarity to a slot that does not have one. Now, when you use a forma, you're, as you see down here, the Warframe has to be ranked, or, you know, weapon, whatever it is you're, you're using a form on, has to be rank 30. And after you apply that that uh, forma, that piece of equipment goes back to unranked. So you lose your level, you got to level it back up. Something important to keep in mind. But there's one other way that you can actually gain uh, capacity. And that is through your aura. Now... Let's see. Here's an aura. It doesn't match, but I'll throw it on here. Notice, it's still in, my total capacity went up. It went up by five, but it doesn't match. 
Okay, you're not, now these don't actually take up capacity, these increase it. Now let's see what happens when I match them. Corrosive projection, probably my favorite aura. I mean, look at that. Reduces enemy's armor by 30%. Even when I'm playing by myself, I love using it just because it makes me more powerful. Um, but look at that. 74 capacity just for putting a mod on there and match the polarity. That's awesome. I can throw a bunch of stuff on here now. Um, so, like, not that I would actually build it like this, but I can just start taking stuff and, oh, I don't know. Maybe I want loot. Ah, uh, nope, that's a aura, never mind. Put stretch on here, streamline. See, I already got three mods and I'm only using 58, you know, out of 74 capacity. I could very easily throw another five on here, as you can see. And, and really, that's that's just how that works. It's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, but you do want to kind of think through how you want your polarities. Because if you start slapping polarities on here and you decide, like, hey, I want to cha build my Warframe for, you know, a different skill or some kind of different build, and you don't have the right polarities, it might keep you from being able to pursue that build. So you want to you want to think this through. You want to have, I would say, get your mods, get them ranked up as far as you want. My rule of thumb is go up to rank seven. Yes, you can go higher, but the cost doesn't outweigh the benefit as you go higher. Usually, at least in my opinion, most of your bigger ones, uh, by rank seven, they're going to be thirteen. Okay, so you know you kind of do some math to figure out how many you need. Again, this works the exact same way for weapons. You can form them once they're ranked 30. In the case of a weapon, though, you use the catalyst. And, uh, you know, this is more of a status weapon setup. That's why there's so many whys. Uh, you know, there's going to be mods that you're almost always going to use. So, lethal torrent. I oh I never run without it. Same thing with barrel diffusion. I never make a weapon without it. Secondary anyway. Um, and normally I would want to put something like Hornet Strike on it because that's going to increase my damage further. And you know, so so on and so forth. Anyway, that's that's kind of uh, really what I wanted to cover. That's forming and uh, reacting or catalysting. Normally, norm, well, I guess here's a helpful bit of information. These reactors or catalysts, they're normally called potatoes. I guess they looked like potatoes to somebody, and they decided to call them that. Um but if somebody says potato, that's probably what they're talking about. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful to you. Agent I signing off.